Okay, some of the disadvantages of catamarans. The first one is that they're a lot lighter. They don't have 40% or more of their weight carried in a keel. Therefore, they have less momentum. Therefore, things happen more slowly. Tacking, much more slowly. Coming up into the wind and trying to coast up to your mooring. You don't have the momentum and the weight. So again, things happen more slowly. Also, you can't load them up with as much stuff. So if you want to take lots of stuff on your world voyage, Catamaran's probably not the boat for you. you add about 10% of the weight to the boat and you'll have a decrease of speed up to 10% as well. So they're not great load carrying boats. Poor design catamarans where the bridge deck is low, and we talk a lot more about this in a moment, tend to slam underneath their bridge deck, which makes the passage very uncomfortable when going upwind. And of course, the final one is they're more expensive to dock. In this marina I'm standing here at the moment, they charge you 20 to 40% more for the pleasure of docking your catamaran. And often, as we can see behind me, they often end up on the end of tea heads, which is not ideal. So they're some of the disadvantages of catamaran. And the bogey in the cupboard that you'll read about is capsize. If a well-built, well-designed modern catamaran is sailed correctly, capsize is extremely, extremely remote occurrence.